everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are doing more repairs today. I am adamant that I'm going to get this barn totally cleaned out of old manure pens. And I'm ready to start in on some old pig pen clean outs. Let me show you what we've got going on today. So I have this section here with, you can see here, two boards missing to about that bar right there and another section starting to go there. So it starts out like this, then the chain or the little unloaders get caught on it. This chain runs along the top and it slowly moves your manure pile to the back. Now before we owned it, somebody modified this back flinger fingers and it just really separates them, beats up the clumps and gets them out of there. So all this inner part of the barn is completely done. I filled it full of uh, hay just a couple days ago. The loft completely filled full of straw and we may be needing those pig pens this winter. So I had this section of sheet metal that came off of that one storage trailer. It had the store sign uh, name on the front. Pre-drilled with holes and everything and it was exactly the right size. Got these old short, what are they, about one inch? Uh, real flat head profile roofing nails. Hopefully, this will hold it all down. Now, some people on a lot of forums, I looked into this months ago for days, and basically, it's, it's a tongue and groove board. To have the whole thing redone was gonna cost a couple hundred dollars. And if you lined it, as suggested in these forums, with like a shower type material, that plastic chain, or that chain is gonna run through the plastic on the side, so you can only put it to the edge. With this metal, it's not going to deteriorate from sitting in the sun or having wet manure on it. If I let it sit out in the rain for a day with a load of manure, it's not going to hurt it. And it was all for free. Sometimes if you think about things long enough, you'll come up with a solution. Now he originally thought maybe just the metal flashing for doing roofing would work. But this is a lot heavier gauge metal than that. We always like free repairs and we didn't have to run out for supplies for this. I just happened to remember that the sign was hanging up in there and I thought, oh, I'll sell it on Craigslist for somebody who wants their shop to say Tom's. Better off hanging on to it for the metal, I had decided. So this is what it all looks like up underneath. You can see our sign there. Just enough wetness and rot. All original floorboards in there. They're all painted green underneath. So funny that they wouldn't bother to do that. So I've been thinking it would be nice to kind of sand it down when we're all done. Kind of clean up some of this heavy duty rust and We're doing a little test with it running. And the chain moves real slow, but the PTO moves pretty well. So it was catching just a little bit right there. And he hammered it down, but about the only thing you can really do is maybe start it further back. But just over time, these boards, kind of the end of it kind of curves a bit, so any added thickness, see, it wants to maybe we should cut it back a couple inches. Take a 
Grinder and Bevelant or a pile. Those nails don't just get ripped out and bevel it. We'll take it over to the shop. Okay. Good idea. We fix it for me. He'll fix it for me. We've got her all situated in her work spot. I moved some bales of hay out of the way that I had to tuck in here real quick because it was raining. He took a file and went along the front edge of that. And I am going to start in on this pen. And I know the lighting is terrible here. I have to string up my lights. These work lights here that are used for construction and tool sheds, they work great for in the barn when you don't have electricity. Christmas lights work really nice too, but they don't throw off enough bright light. So like in my old rabbit shed over there, I use Christmas lights because they were pretty. These are much more utilitarian. Now, I made the mistake of putting a bull in this pen with a cow in a very tight situation. They were in here for a while. We separated them out and we did, again, the deep manure bedding. Now, the trouble here is, you see this water tank? That water tank, I wanted to get it out and I couldn't. I started digging around it and it's still a good two feet down. And the way you have to unpack this is a layer at a time, like a layered mess, because the hay and straw that they didn't eat and they didn't work on for decomposing is tangled up. So, in a week, I'm going to have it all emptied out again. So this is the work I did today. Trey was my helper this afternoon. It's a drop down pen. Coming? Yep. So we're gonna take this out. You can see right in there where I was working. Thank <laughs> you. 
manure spreading for today, everybody. Thanks for watching our videos. Always hit that thumbs up button. It really helps to support the channel. It helps our videos to show up as suggested videos for other people. We really appreciate your time and sharing with our family and sharing with our journey on our farm. If you're not already subscribed, please hit subscribe and that little notification bell so you know when the next video comes out.